um, is a tremendous understatement. And, you know, the numbers that I'm sharing with you is really due to one fact, and that, and that is the fact that people just like you all over the planet are excited and fired up about our products and services and are out there every single day sharing them with, uh, you know, potential customers, sharing these products and services with the people around the globe. And if you're sitting there tonight, you know, my goal, you know, tonight I'm going to talk about prospecting. I'm going to talk about, you know, developing leads all over the world, online, offline, so you're never going to run out of people to talk to. And then I'm going to talk about what I do to specifically close people into this business. Uh, but really, I just want you to understand that if you're on the fence right now, you know, whether you should go all in and really put forth a lot of effort into your iMarkets Live business, where you're just going to keep sitting right back, right? You're just going to keep sitting back and watching all these other people you know get wealthy my my goal for this evening's call is for you to be done with it you get off and you say you know what i'm going to go all in i'm going to step up i'm going to build a customer driven business here and i market so number one just want to say uh, amazingly grateful for every single one of you so really quick guys hit 444 hit 444 and show some love to our ceo and founder uh, mr christopher terry the beast this 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 man just flew 18 hours for one event in frankfurt germany you know we, we, we had dinner for like four hours two nights ago we were up till four in the morning game planning talking about all the exciting things that we cannot share with you on tonight's call you're gonna have to show up to las vegas Nevada for the rise convention march 16th uh, which by the way you guys have got to be there it's going to be absolutely awesome and off the hook but the things that are going to be announced the things that we're working on are from some of the chairman's uh, rewards uh, from some of the future chairman rewards, uh, for some of the different things that are going to be given away. Some of them have to do with uh, cars, right? Um, you, you guys got to be there in person. So grateful for Christopher Terry, um, obviously, and then grateful for Miss Isis Della Torre. Hit 555 and show some love for our CFO, our CFO and co-founder, Mrs. Isis Della Torre. Guys, these two individuals are really the reason that caused me 19 months ago to say, I'm in, I'm going to join this company. I don't care where you are right now. I, I just know where you're going and where your intentions and where your heart is um, to help people around, around the world. So let's get into it guys. Number one convention, number one convention, right? The Rise by Markets Live. Let's, uh, let's ask Siri here one question. How many days until March 16th? 26 days, ladies and gentlemen, 26 days until the rise of iMarkets Live. If you, if you do not have your ticket, if you do not have your plane ticket, if you do not have your, 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 your travel, your means, your, you know, your means to travel, whether you're driving, whether you're hitchhiking, whether you're taking the Greyhound bus, guys, I, 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 um, I confidently urge you to figure out a way to get your butt to Las Vegas, Nevada, March 16th. If you are committed uh, to being in Las Vegas, guys, March 16th, hit 777, lucky seven for Las Vegas, hit 777. If you are gonna be in Las Vegas, come heck or high water, you are getting there because you understand that at these events, that's where your belief goes through the moon. That's where your belief, you know, clicks in your mind and you say, you know what? I can do what Michael Martin has done. I can do what Aureli in France has done. I can do what Blas has done in Slovenia. I can, I can, I can earn the same amount of income as some like a Brandon Boyd or an Austin Gazi or a Paloma Sonores um, or a Chad Thompson or Kevin Jones. I can do what these people have done. I, I, uh, I, I, I beg you in, in the future of your business, you guys, please put the, the, the website to get the ticket. Somebody type that in in the chat box for all the gentlemen and ladies in the call right now uh, that want to get their ticket tonight. I'm telling you, you will be so happy. You will be so happy um, that you choose to do that, guys. iMarketsLiveEvents.com, get your ticket. So here we go, all right, here we go. Every person, every person, every single person that you get to Las Vegas March 16th is going to equate to an extra $100 per month per month of residual ongoing continuous income for the next 12 months. So let's do some math. Now I'm not a mathematician, but every hundred dollars, every person is going to equate to a hundred dollars. So if you want to make a thousand dollars a month and become a platinum 1000, uh, inside of our market so I guess what you need to do, you need to get 10 people to the rise of I market side. If you want to get to platinum 2000, how many people do you need? You need 20 people at the rise of iMarkets Live 
March 16th. If you want to go Chairman 10, ladies and gentlemen, well, guess what? You got to have a hundred people, right? You got to have a hundred people at the Rise of Markets Live convention. And when you do that, and they are dialed in, they are locked in, they are focused. We're going to be doing breakouts. I know that a lot of the leaders are getting different Airbnbs around Las Vegas. I know that, you know, myself, uh, Yvonne, Christopher Taylor, we're going to be making, you know, little appearances to as many places as possible. I do not plan on sleeping um, from March 16th uh, to March, really, you know, 19th. We're going to give it our all to ensure that everybody you get to that this event in Las Vegas has an absolute phenomenal experience, guys. We, we are literally, we are, we, we are literally not, 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 we are, we are spending every expense. Sorry, I, I've been up for literally almost 40 hours now. So I'm starting to mumble. I'm getting excited right now. I haven't slept, you know, a day and a half since I went to bed in Frankfurt, Germany. I'm still powering through right now in Las Vegas. But here's the deal. We are, we are spending the money. We, we, are, we are hiring the right people to make sure this thing is absolutely amazing. Like amazing. I've been a part of some amazing companies, some amazing conventions. This right here is going to be the cherry on top, the gold medal, as we could say. So here we go. Here we go. A lot of you know that I got involved in network marketing at 21 years old. This is going to lead into my topic tonight. I got involved at 21 years old. I went to my first opportunity meeting and I saw normal people making excruciating amounts of money, 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month, right? When I was 21 and broke, $10,000 a month, it could have been $100,000 a month because I thought 10 grand a month would mean all my dreams and goals and aspirations would just come true, you know, just like that. So I got started in the industry, right? And then I was terrible. I was prospecting, you know, friends were telling me no. Family members were telling me it was a scam, right? So my war market were basically like, and eh -eh, no way, no how. So then I said, okay, I'm gonna go cold market, right? I'm gonna go talk to people around my college campus. I'm gonna go talk to people on Facebook. I'm gonna go talk to people. Anywhere there's people, I am going to talk to them. And I got beat up every day, over and over and over and over again. You know, a lot of you know my story. I made $10 my first month in network marketing. I made $20 my second month in network marketing. My first year, my total income earned I would have made more money asking you, hey, you want fries with that at McDonald's. So now you see me now as the vice president of the company, you know, recently hit an eight figure income, you know, in total career commissions. You know, you don't understand the, the learning curve, the growth curve, the getting beat down over and over and over and over again that I had to go through the same curve that somebody like David Emanitier, somebody like Yvonne Tapia, right? Other eight figure earners that you see now, but you don't understand what it took and how many times we got smacked in the mouth and you know kicked in the gut until we figured this thing out. So what I wanna to do tonight is actually give you guys um, some tactics, you know, some things you can take into the marketplace this evening, if not tomorrow. So, you know, the mindset that I had to adapt in 2011 um, for me to go out there and actually prospect people and enroll people, close people, you know, and build, build a business, build a six figure income, you know, level business. What, you know, I, I had to get bold, right? So I want you guys to have this idea in your mind. And one of my friends, you know, actually coined this phrase. It's called B 10 X B. You guys, you guys can write that down. B 10 X B, right? B 10 X B. That stands for B. 10 times bolder, okay? Be 10 times bolder. Now, here's the thing, all right? Here's the thing. Um, when you don't pick up the phone, it's it's, it's because you have fear. It's, it's because you have fear, right? If you don't talk to the guy at Starbucks, you know, about, about our business, right? It's because you have fear, okay? If you don't prospect the girl at the gym, it's because it stems from fear. And this is fear that's been preconditioned since we were like five, six years old. I grew up in Bexley, Ohio. I would play outside and whenever I would go outside to go shoot hoops with my friends or, you know, go play, you know, ghosts in the graveyard, right? Growing up, I'm 28. So some of you may know what that is. Some of you are like, yo, when I was, you know, six years old, I had a Game Boy. I was playing on my computer already with my iPad. You know, I'm 28 years old. So I'm probably older than some of you young kids on the call. But my mom always said, hey, don't talk to strangers. Don't you talk to strangers. If you talk to strangers, you will die. That is, <laughs> that is the mindset that I had growing up as a kid. So when you're told something over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, hey, if you talk to strangers, you know, you're gonna, bad things are gonna happen to you. You grow up thinking, wow, 
I can't talk to strangers. But you have to understand something, okay? Strangers have everything that you want. When I joined this company 19 months ago, I told Christopher Terry, I said, I am not bringing over a team. I am not calling the 30 people I helped make six and seven figure incomes in my first two companies. I said, I want to build something fresh. I want to build something without drama, without negativity, without, well, I was the man of my former company, so I need this, this, and this. I said, I'm not doing that. If they want to sign up, they can sign up, but I'm not going to spend my time, guess what? Guess what? Making outgoing phone calls to existing team members. I said, I'm just not doing that. I'm going to build a new. I said, I will attract the right people into this company, and we're going to build this thing to the moon, then back down, and then back up to the moon. And that's exactly what happened. People like Danilo Delgado, right? People like Juan Diego Jimenez, Chairman 25, Danilo Chairman 10, people like Ivan Tapia. Guys, I, that, that was a cold market type of situation. Even though he approached me, I had to be 10XB. I had to be 10XB, right, to be able to talk to somebody like an Ivan Tapia. So I need you guys to adapt, be 10 times bolder. So, so if you're in a situation and you're like, man, do I want to talk to this person? Do I want to prospect this person? Should I prospect this person? I want you to go to your, I want you to go to your head and say, listen, what, if I was 10 times bolder, what would I do? If I was 10 times bolder, would I pick up the phone and call the successful real estate agent? If I was 10 times bolder, would I message the number one car salesman in Detroit, Michigan? If I was 10 times bolder, would I prospect, you know, the attractive young lady at Equinox Gym in Miami, Florida. Okay. And then immediately your brain is going to say 10 times bolder. Yes. Right. So everything we don't do stems from something, stems from, stems from something called fear. And fear stands for false evidence. All right. Appearing real. False evidence appearing real. If we lined up all the Chairman 10s and all the Chairman 25s and above from Rashard Duncan to, you know, Fernando Duarte to I don't Alan Badia, who just went chairman 50, shout out to him, to Dr. Spiller, to Lawrence and Tamara Young, to Dr. China and Dr. Jewel, right? They are bold people, right? They are they are bold people. So you guys gotta get 10 times, 10 times, 10 times bolder. Okay. Strangers have exactly, you know, what we want. So now let's get in. Okay, let's get in to uh, to prospecting, right? You know, whenever I'm in these events, people say, well, how do I talk to somebody? Like I, I met, I met, you know, this sharp young guy named Derek at the Gucci store or at Nordstrom's, right? Or I met this sharp, this sharp young lady, you know, walking around Cheesecake Factory, right? How do I speak to these people? So I'm gonna give you guys my formula, okay? And this isn't, you know, this isn't, you know, fat. This isn't the only way to do it. This is just how I've been able to sponsor. I don't even know how many people I've sponsored in my eight year career. Um, I, I have no idea, but I know it's been at least, I don't even know, 35 or 40, six, six and seven figure earners. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys what I do, what I've done since I was 21 to now I'm 28 years old. And I have duplicated this into lots and lots of people, right? You know, I'm not the greatest network. See, this is the thing that a lot of you on the call, you're, you're, you're a better presenter than Alex Morton. You're a better trainer and speaker than Matthew Rosen, right? You're a better, you're a better prospector than, than a Juan Diego Jimenez, right? You're, you're a better, you're a better closer than a Julian Kushner, okay? But there's just certain things fundamental that you're not doing, and that's why your result isn't, isn't up here, right? We have 95 Chairman Tens and above, okay? They are actively in phase one, actively talking to new people, actively building, you know, building their business. You know, two weeks ago, I sponsored a young guy um, named Joey. You know, I don't think he's public yet, so I, I'm not going to say his last name, but they put in 50 people in the last 10 days, and they don't, they're not, they don't understand everything about IML Academy. They don't understand everything about Harmonic Skinner, but they're excited and they're prospecting the right way. All right. So that's what we're going to talk about here. Right here, right now. So number one, when you're prospecting, I don't care if you're negative. I don't care if you're having a bad day. I don't care if your pet hamster just got run over 
buy a truck driver. I don't care. When you're prospect, and remember, this is the seven-figure mentorship call, all right? And for those of you that know me at a personal level, you know that I'm always going to keep it real. I don't sugarcoat things. I just, I just don't, we don't have time for that, right? You, got, you guys are fighting for your future, and you're fighting for your freedom, and you're fighting for your people's freedom, so we don't have time to beat around the bush, all right? So when I say some things sometimes, you know, that come off maybe aggressive or a little out there, it's just based off of trial and error. This, okay, what I'm going to share with you has been split tested, all right? It's been, it's been split tested for eight years. So I know this stuff works. And what Jim Rohn said, he said, right, what you lack in skill, make up for numbers. You guys can write that down. What you lack in skill, make up, in numbers. So when I was 21 years old, I, I was not good at prospecting people. So I had to talk to 25 different people to get a couple people to say, hey, I'll show up to your next event, right? I had to talk with 30 people to get someone to actually watch, to watch a prospecting video for my first 12 to 18 months in the business, okay? But here's the deal. You gotta be, you have to be positive. You have to be positive and you have to smile. When you smile at somebody, like everybody, if you're watching this right now for the 800 people on the line live, just smile. Like just practice smiling and being joyous. There are two types of people, people that light up a room with energy, excitement, and enthusiasm. And then there's people that are vampires that suck everything straight out of the room. If you want to attract positive, good people into your business, what do you first need to become? A positive, good, energetic, enthusiastic person. If you're a negative person that's very, very timid, no one's going to want to join you or, or you're just going to build a business of those types of people. Nothing's wrong with that. But I believe if you want to go fast, you got to get people in your business that are excited about life, that are energetic, that are positive, that are enthusiastic, that are going to go out there and run through a wall and get this thing done. So number one, be positive and smile. Number two, you always want to look for ways to give genuine compliments to other people. Okay. For instance, Hey, wow, those are awesome shoes. Those are awesome shoes, right? Wow. You, your personality is just incredible. Like you're just lighting up the room right now. Like if I'm in a store with, if I'm in a store buying something, whether it's Dick Sporting Goods buying Nike socks or I'm in the Gucci store buying a new polo, it really doesn't matter. I'm always looking for ways to make other people feel good. You want, you want the secret to go in chairman in, in our markets live, get really good and making other people feel really good. You see, a lot of people in your team and a lot of people in your group, they don't believe in themselves like you believe in them yet. When I was 21, I had to have people believe in me and give me give me belief in my ears that translated into my heart over and over and over and over and over and over and over again so that I could believe in myself. So you got to believe in other people. So when you're prospecting people, hey, give genuine, number one, Give genuine compliments. Give genuine compliments, right? Something you can say to somebody, you know, if you're checking out at Nordstrom or you're checking out at um, Subway, right? You can be talking to the cashier or talking to the guy or girl that was helping you and say, hey, this is just a quick little power phrase, right? Hey, you can make so much money in my business. Hey, you can make so much money in my company. Go say that to five people tomorrow and then tell me their responses, right? Hey, you can you make so much money in my business. What are they probably going to say? Hey, what's your business? Hey, what's your company? Hey, what do you do? So now instead of you being a vulture on people, you have, that's the deal. Like when you get really good, people are going to be asking you <coughs> what you do. So positive, be positive, smile, give genuine compliments. Guys, number two, you got to be interested not interesting. Okay. Don't walk up to people, even on Facebook. Hey man, my name is Danella Delgado. I'm a, I'm a chairman 10 in this company. I'm making $10,000 a month. You should do what I'm doing. Nobody cares. Okay. Hey, my name's Alex Morton. I'm 28 years old. I'm making blah, blah, blah a month. I got a Rolls Royce. I live in a mansion in Miami. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. People only care about themselves. I'm going to explain to you what's on somebody's forehead. Everyone's forehead says the same thing. Ready? W-I-I-F-M, W-I-I-F-M is on everybody's forehead, and it says, anybody, anytime, this is what's on their forehead, what's in it for me, 
They don't care what you have. They don't care what you're making. When you're talking to somebody, all they care about is, hey, what's in it for me? And if you can solve their problem, remember, they're like, you know, Alex, you know, what 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 are I mark IBOs and I markets like? You know, what are they? This is what I this is what the definition of an IBO and I markets live is. We are professional problem solvers. That's it. And we use, we use Forex in our products and services and education to solve people's problems. If you tell me what you want, I can show you how to get it every single time. Oh, you can't pay, you can't pay your rent. Boom. I mark your side. Oh, you want more free time to go watch your little girl at a dance recital? Great. I mark your side. Hey, you complain all day long about working your, 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 your job. You don't like great. I mark your side. You see what I'm saying here? You're solving people's problems. You're not, you're not verbally puking on people about multiplying their money. You have to solve people's problems. If you can solve people's problems, they will not just listen to what you have to say. They will do what you want them to do because guess what? You're solving their problem. Listen, if somebody has the flu and you have the cure to the flu and they know you have the cure to the flu, what are they going to do? They're going to take the cure to the flu. So if somebody has broke itis or complaining negativity itis, and you have something that can cure that out of their life, they're going to, they're going to do it. So again, genuine conflict, positive smile, be interested in them. Don't just be interesting And a big one. Number three is ask questions. Hey, Hey, where do you go to school? Hey, what do you like to do? Okay. This is something I've been teaching for almost a decade now. It's called form F O R M. Okay. If you're taking notes, which hopefully you guys are form F O R M. What does that mean? That means form, family, occupation, recreation, motivation, right? Family, occupation, recreation, motivation. If you talk to somebody in Florida, LA, China, Mexico, Orlando, Canada, for five minutes, they will talk to you about either their family, occupation, job, recreation, what they do for fun, or M. What motivates them? Human beings like to talk about, guess what? Themselves. It's like talking to girls. If you, if you walk up to a girl and all you do is start talking about how great you are on your resume, they don't care. But if you, the second you ask questions, they light up like a, like a Christmas tree because they want to talk about themselves. Same thing with prospects. So you have to ask questions. Hey, where are you from? Hey, where do you work? Hey, are you going to the concert this weekend? Right? You're asking questions to feel to feel them out and you're looking for something called a hot button. They will, they will reveal something. If you're asking the right question, they will reveal something to you and then you can interject. Hey, this is step five now. Okay. If you, if you guys are following me, hit three, three, three. Okay. I'll, I'll go over this again. I got all night. It's like, it's like 9 a.m. over in Frankfurt. So I'm like, I'm wired now. I don't know how I'm wired, but I'm wired. Okay. Awesome. The threes are pouring in. Beautiful. This leads me into the next one. This is big. This is the golden nugget. Okay. Look, I'm going to take somebody's name. Uh, Dalton, Dalton, Dalton. Hey man, if I can show you a way to make enough money, whoa, if I can make it, if, uh, if I could show you a way Dalton to make enough money part-time that you could quit working at Foot Locker, you could quit, you know, making, making pretzels at Annie Ann's pretzel shop. If you could quit, you know, doing this insurance gig that you don't like to do, if I could show you a way to make enough money part-time, would you take a look at something and then zip it, zip it. God gave us two ears, one mouth. We should listen double as much as we speak. Took me a while to learn that. People, people want to get listened to. Does that make sense? So, so say, I'm going to, I'm going to put it all together. Here we go. Ready? Okay. So I walk into Nordstrom's. Gustavo is in Nordstrom's. Gustavo is the sharp guy. And I'm like, dude, this guy's energy's on fire. Like, man, he would, he would crush it in my business. I got to talk to Gustavo. Prospect, what do I do? What's going on, man? Hey, bro, your, 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 your sales ability is like out of this world. What do you mean? I'm like, dude, your, uh, your people skills are literally incredible. Bro, you can make so much money in my business, number one. And I'm happy. I'm smiling. I'm energetic, right? Bro, you can make so much money in my business. Really? Dude, yeah. Your sales skills? I'm like, the way you talk to people, 
it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, I can't believe you're working in a North Star. You should be, you should be making so much money. You know what I mean? Dang, bro. What do you do? What do you do? Hey, man. And if they ask what you do, it's simple. This is what I say. I say, I show people how to make money on their smartphone. Right? And then you ask, you can ask questions, right? So if I'm talking to Gustavo, I'm like, hey, dude, I got a question for you. Here's another power question, right? Hey, Gustavo, I got a question. I got a question. Bro, do you enjoy, like, is it a passion of yours to work in Nordstrom? Or, or do you do this to pay the bills, right? Hey, bro, do you enjoy working at Subway? Or do you do this to pay the bills? What are they going to say most of the time? They're going to say something like, man, I'm paying my way through school. Yeah, bro, I got two jobs. I got a family at home. And I would say, awesome. Okay, next question. What are you passionate about? Ask people that question and watch their face. Like, what? Nobody asks questions anymore. Hey, Gustavo, what are you, what? Okay, so if Subway's not your passion, man, what are you passionate about? Man, I don't know, bro. Like, I love music. I love making music. I love, my dream would be to make music. Awesome. Awesome. If I could show you a way, Gustavo, to make enough money part-time where you could walk away from Subway and then put all of that time into your music career, bro, would you, would you take a look at something? What are they going to say most of the time? Uh, duh, because I'm now solving his problems. Does that make sense? So when we solve people's problems, they open up like a book, right? And then from that point, yo, add me on Facebook, add me on Instagram, right? And then you want to take it another step. You want to get crazy with it. This is what I do. I say, okay, here's the deal. If I sent you a video, would you watch it? Yes. Awesome. Hey, when are you off work? I'm off work at five o'clock. Awesome. So let's say you get in your car by 515, right? Yeah, yeah, 515. Cool. Awesome. So you're going to watch your video. If, so if I send you the video, you told me you're going to watch it, right? Yes. Um, so you're going to watch it from 515 to about 535. I'm going to, is it okay if I call you at 540? Yes. Awesome. Shake his hand and you're out. Send him the video. So what you're doing is you now met someone, you built trust and credibility because you're like asking real questions and you're interested in them. You have to say, hey, man, I, I multiply money on my phone. People are making money. People have nice cars, and we're traveling the world. And it's like, oh, my gosh, it's unbelievable. Forex, cryptocurrency, it's incredible. They're like, overload. You, you lost me, bro. You're done. Like, okay, thanks. No thanks. Thanks. No thanks, right? You meet someone. Hey, Gustavo, man, you, you, you can make so much money in my business. Man, what do you do? Do I show people how to make money on their phone? Man, that's crazy. Yeah, I got a question for you. Do you enjoy working here? Or is this just to pay the bills? Oh, just pay the bills. Okay. Student loans. Awesome. Your wife got laid off. Awesome. Okay. Here's the thing. What are you passionate about? Uh, so soccer. My, my dream is to be a professional soccer player. Whatever they say you're interested in, right? And then he's like, yeah, I want to play soccer. Then I say, okay, awesome. Hey, if I could show you a way to make enough money part-time where you could walk away from the sushi bar, Subway, picking up dog food for the park, whatever it is, right? Would you take a look at something? Yes. Awesome. If I sent you a video, would you watch it? Yes. Awesome. When are you off work? 6 p.m. Great. So, you're, so you'll be in your car about 6.15? Yeah. Awesome. So you'll watch the video. I'm going to call you at 6.40. Is that okay? Yes. That's it. Send them the video. Another level, and I hope that, I hope you're taking notes here because I know I know I'm I'm saying I'm saying a lot. When you put it all together, it's actually quite it's quite simple. Okay, um, trust me. If it was hard, if it was complicated, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. Remember, I did. I barely got through school. Now that not the smartest kid in the world, right? This is this is. You just have to go out there and do it. And every time you do it, you're gonna get better and better and better and better. So to take it, um, you know, one one next step. Okay, you send them the video. Right, and then you follow up that day. You follow up, and this is what you say when you follow up. Ready for your notes? Hey, Gustavo, what did you like best about the video? What did you? Like? Hey, man, what do you like best about the video? See, some of you bring people to meetings, and then after the meeting, this is what you say: Yo, G Giovanni, yo, what do you think about it, man? Hey, S Sarah, what do you think about it? Human beings are naturally negative creatures at a psychological level. So they're going to say, yeah, the well is cool, but, you know, it's 195. It's 250. You know what I mean? They're going to give you a negative. Hey, hey, Sarah, what did you like best? 
what do they have to do? Give you a, a positive, and this is the secret right here. These four words, you know, no income claims, made me a multimillionaire network marketing. Ready? Let's get you started. Well, I really like the idea of the harmonic scanner. I really like the idea of working with my friends. I really like the idea of making money on my phone and trading. I've been so interested in trading. Whatever they say, you say, man, me too. Wow, me too. Awesome, me too. Hey, let's get you started. See, some of you guys, you know, you're, and remember, I'm not coming at you guys, you know, sideways or I'm not trying to be mean, but some of you have to, you, you have to develop a backbone. Your spine, some of you guys have a wet noodle where a backbone should be. You brought somebody to a meeting. You got them on a webinar. You did all of this work and you're not even going to ask them to get started. See, I don't understand that. Like, hey, let's get you started. What's the worst they can say? No. And, it, and it's like, okay, and, I'm, and now I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through my closing process right now. So that's my prospect, all right? Again, be positive, smile, be energetic. Energy is the, is the number one transferable thing on earth. Everything is energy. Everything, nothing rests. Everything's always moving. There's vibrational frequencies all over the planet, and I don't have time to go in that tonight, but the point is, is that everything is energy. So you want to emit energy, good energy, into these prospects, okay? So give genuine compliments. Hey man, I really like your shoes. Hey man, you know your sales, your your your, your sales skills are incredible. Wait, wait, just at the sushi bar, Sarah. I just want to let you know you did a phenomenal job serving serving our food here tonight. Hey, I have a question, Sarah. Do you enjoy working here, or do you do this to pay the bills? Well, I just have to pay the bills. I'm in school right now, so I'm just going to pay the bills. Awesome. I got a question. What are you actually passionate about? Um. Dancing. I love dancing. I love making dancing videos and putting them on Instagram. I love, I love dancing. Me too. No matter, I don't care if she says geology. Wow, me too. I, I, I'm passionate about floral, making floral flower pots. Wow, so cool, right? Be interested, not interesting, right? So I got a question. If I could show you a way to make enough money part-time where you could actually quit working at this sushi bar, and then you could take all that extra free time and put it into the dancing, would you take a look at something? Oh, of course. Awesome. So if I sent you a video, would you watch it? Yes? Awesome. What are you off work? Oh, I get off at 4, 4 p.m. Sweet. So you're going to be in your car about 4.15? Yes. Awesome. So you get in your car, you're going to watch the video, and I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you about, let's say, 4.40. Does that work for you? Yes? Awesome. Here's the next level. Get people saying yes. Get people saying yes. All right? You get somebody to say yes seven times, the eighth thing you want them to do, they're going to say yes. They're going to say yes. Some of you are going to use that for, 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 for different things. All right? But, here, <laughs> but here's the deal. Did, hey, did you enjoy the presentation tonight? Yes. Could you see yourself, you know, learning Forex? Yes. Does, you know, isn't it, isn't it unbelievable to see this many different types of people with their testimonials on our products and services. It's just so crazy, isn't it? Yes. Right? Does it make sense what you've seen here tonight? Yes. Right? Yes, 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 yes. You get them in the yes mode. It's a done deal, right? It's a done deal. So here we go. I don't know what time it is, but no one's logged off. It's actually increasing. So obviously you guys are getting some value. If you're getting value so far tonight, can you give me an 888 so I know that you know, I, uh, I, I'm helping you tonight. Cause that's all I want to do is help you. I don't really care about anything else. I just want to serve and help. That's it. Okay. Um, awesome. Eights are pouring in. That's beautiful. Cause if they weren't, you know, then it, we, we'd all be wasting our times. Right? So here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into how to close properly close. Okay. Jet lag, jet lag's real, unless you just fight it. And we're fighting it tonight together. We are fighting the European jet lag together on the seven-figure mentorship call, baby. This is iMarket Side, and we have no time to sleep because we got to get all you guys, 808 people. Everyone's getting free, baby. And I'll tell you what, we have the best freedom coaches in the world inside of iMarket Side. I actually have a list of all the freedom coaches inside of iMarkets Live, and they are all 
amazing. I'm just going to look at my phone and pick a couple right here. Boom. Albert Ferrer, Don Wilson, Lorenzo Hoffman, right? Mario Rodriguez, Ader Catlett, Lu Luis Ventura, Andre Campbell, right? John Legareta out of Miami. I probably said his name wrong, but that's okay. Zane Khan, Chairman 25 in London. Alejandro Bras, Lawrence Tamara Young, Yosri Masai out of France. Okay, Brandon Boyd, Chad Thompson, Dr. China, Dr. Jewel, Dr. You know, doc Chairman 50s, man. Everyone's a doctor, Chairman 50. I love it, right? Dr. Spiller, Alan Badia. Gary and Talitha McSween, right? Jason Brown and Matt Rosa, David and Manitia. We have freedom co We have the best freedom coaches in the world, all right? And you guys are connected to these people. Clive and Felicia Johnson, Christopher Derrick, Brett Thomas, Mike and Marlene Stotts, right? Luke Palmer, I'm telling you, Case Morton, I'm telling you, we have the best of the best in our markets now. I said, I said, get that off of my chest because, man, I'll tell you what, it is the God honest truth. I've never seen this much talent and this much honesty and integrity and passion ever in my career. So here we go. Closing, right? Okay, before we get into closing, I want to give you guys just one little phrase, okay? Here's the deal. Inside of iMarkets Live, this is the deal. You either can have an ego or a fat paycheck. Can't have both. One more time. You can either have an ego and stay broke, okay? Or you can have a fat pay pollution check every single Friday, okay? Hit one, two, three, if you're voting for the fat pay pollution check, guys. I'm here, to help, I'm, here, I'm here to help you guys get rich. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I don't, it, that, that's the deal. That's the deal. Get you rich, rich in time, rich in freedom, rich in money, rich in health, rich in relationships. That, that is the goal here. And don't let anyone ever tell you or make you feel bad about wanting to become rich and or, and or wealthy. You should not feel bad I don't want to tell people my dreams because they may tell me it's not possible. Or I grew up in a house where my mom told me, you know, rich people are going to hell, right? That's, that's, that's not, that's not the truth. That's what broke people say sometimes to, you know, figure to, to, to make their situation. Okay. That's not true. Rich people donate money. Rich people build churches. Rich people, you know, build schools in Guatemala and build churches in Africa. That's what rich people do. All right. It's the Oprah effect. Make money, give it away, make money, Give it away. All right. So here we go. We talked about prospecting. We talked about we talked about B10XB. Be 10 times bolder. Whenever you have fear, and any fear settles in, what boom, be 10 times bolder. What would that person do if I was 10 times bolder? Right? What would that person do? Would they pick up the phone? Would they pick up the phone? Right? Would they call that person? Would they would they show up to the event? Would they do anything in their power? to get to Las Vegas March 16th? Yes, because they're being 10 times bolder. Ladies and gentlemen, I remember conventions in Las Vegas, Nevada, when I was coming up in this industry. Guys, we had 12 people in a, in a Mirage hotel room. We had people sleeping, three or four people in each bed. We had rollaways in there. Man, we had people sleeping on the floor. I remember I walked in a room one time with one of my teams back in the day. We had, we had a grown man sleeping in a bathtub in the Mirage Hotel, hotel room, because they couldn't afford hotel rooms, so we put 12 to 13 people in a room. It doesn't matter. When there's a will, there's a way. I'm telling you, buy your ticket this evening, tonight. If somebody can help me out and put that link in the chat box, please do it again. Okay, please do it again, because people need to know that they gotta be in Vegas. I, I, I will know who's serious about this company March 16th. I will know who's serious or curious March 16th. Trust me. Trust me. We have people, Blaz, Blaz, I think you're on the line right now, bro. I know he's on the line right now, okay, because I saw his name pop up earlier. I don't know what time it is over in Slovenia right now. They have 50 confirmed people flying in from Ljubljana, Slovenia. Does that make sense? That we have 50 people coming in from Slovenia, 50 people coming in from Frankfurt, Germany. All right, and you're in you're in Detroit, you're in Utah, you're in San Diego, and you're gonna you're gonna come up with some excuse as to why you can't be at the Las Vegas the Rise Convention. Okay, it, it's not don't do it for me. Don't do it for your upline chairman. Do it for yourself, right? What well, costs money to get there, guys? What? A so you're telling me if it costs a thousand dollars for your ticket, your hotel, your food, your flight, your your your, your rental cars, whatever you're doing. You're telling me that a thousand dollars 
is worth more than all of your dreams and goals. Think about it that way. You're telling me your little flight ticket from New York City to Las Vegas for $350, you're going to value $350 over all of your goals and dreams? You got to be kidding me, guys. I mean, come on. Come on. You can't do that to yourself. You are worth more. You are worth more. And you've got to, got to, got to be there. You're not going to want to miss out. We're actually going to do a brand new product reveal in Vegas that nobody knows about. And uh, it's going to blow your face. It's going to blow your face off of your head. If that's even possible, that's what's going to happen. So here we go, guys. Last thing I'm going to talk about, I know we've already been on for an hour, but we're having fun and we're rocking and rolling. So here we go. Closing. We talked about prospecting. We talked about how to build rapport. We talked about how to ask the right questions. Uh, we talked about how strangers have what we want. Now let's talk about closing. Let's talk about closing. Here's the deal. Okay. Objections. Okay. Objections. Somebody in the chat box, I see all of you right now in the bottom right. Somebody in the chat box, tell me some objections you get. Okay. Do it throughout the closing process. What are, what are some of the things people say to you? Okay. No money, no time, pyramid scheme, money, pyramid, time, money. It's, it's all scam. So people call it a scam. It's so crazy. You know what scam stands for? Still confused about money. It's a scam. Still confused about money. It's a scam. Still confused about money. So I'm going to give you guys what I do. Okay, this is what I do. Remember, there's there, there's other ways to close, right? There, there, I actually have several closing techniques, but this has worked very well in this particular company by Market Slide. All right. So this is what I said. I say, guys, tonight. Um, here's the deal. There's that. There, 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 there's two options tonight. Uh, number one, you can become a customer. Okay. Number two, you can become a customer who goes out there and gets customers. That's it. Th those are really the only two options tonight. So that's one thing that I say um, a lot, a lot. All right. But here's the deal. Okay. If you take away people's objections before they can give them to you, then um, they can't give them to you. Right. So I saw money and time. I'll go over the pyramid thing in a second. That's just crazy to me. I actually don't get the pyramid thing in this company. I got the pyramid a lot in, uh, in prior companies, but in iMarkets Live, no one really tells me this is a pyramid because if, if you want to be, if you want to be honest with ourselves tonight, this is really a hybrid company because there's, there's two ways to make money. It's not just based off of recruiting other people. No. Okay. The majority of this company are customers, meaning they don't even access the compensation plan. Tell people that I stand on stages all over the world. I stood on stage in Frankfurt. Uh, oh my gosh, it was really yesterday. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, yesterday in Germany, I said over 70% of this company don't even access the compensation plan, nor do they care to. They just use the products, love the products to make money. They make money on the products, guys. That, that's why we're exploding so much. Um, it's because here, people don't have to recruit people on $500 packages of, you know, juice, water, coffee, or wine. They don't have to do that here. It's just showing people how to make money in the largest financial market on planet Earth. So these are the four. I'm gonna, Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do what I do to all of you right now. So guys, in closing, here's the deal. There's actually only four reasons why you would not get started as a customer here this evening. Number one, you don't understand it. Number two, you don't believe it. Number three, you don't have any time. You're too busy for it. Or number four, you don't have the money to get started tonight. So guys, you, you can't, if you have an excuse tonight, you're actually going to hit, you're actually going to fit into one of these four categories. Again, you don't understand it. You don't believe it. You don't have the time. You don't have the money. So number one, you're saying, you know what, China, I don't understand it. This is what I do. I say, raise your hand if you've ever had a job in here tonight. Raise your hand if you ever a job in here tonight, right? You guys have all jobs? Awesome, me too. Here's the deal. The first day of your job, did you understand every single thing you had to do to become the CEO of that job in the first day? No? No. Obviously no. All right? So tonight, you don't have to understand everything. That's our job. We're going to coach you, teach you, train you, and mentor you. What you need to do, instead of, instead of trying to figure out, you know, understanding it, you just need to think about why you need this. You need to think about why you have to become a proficient trader. You have to think about why you must build a Chairman 10 
organization. So if you don't understand, if you don't understand it fully, guys, that's completely fine. So you just took away that like this. Number two, number two, you say, you know what, China, I do understand it. But Mike, Mike Miles, Mike, I don't believe it, man. You know, I've seen these things before. I joined a travel company in 2007 and, you know, I never even took a vacation. All right. You know, I didn't make any money. Or I joined, you know, this juice company in 2013 and, you know, I just ended up with a bunch of juice in my garage. You know, I just don't believe it. This is what I say. Guys, what don't you believe? $5.3 trillion a day industry of Forex? Or you, or is it you don't believe the $180 billion per year industry of network marketing that have just joined together? What don't you believe? The 55,000 customers worldwide? You don't believe that? Right? So if you don't actually believe this, guys, this is the deal. You, you need to go to your doctor and you need to get a checkup from the neck up because you, you have some type of problem going on in your head. Now, I may not say that every single time, but you have to say, listen, what don't you believe, guys? Forex has been here forever. It's a foreign exchange market. You have to believe this. You can't not, you just can't not believe this, right? Number three, you say, China, I do understand it. Mike, I do believe it. But, but, but Jonathan, bro, I don't have any time. You know, I'm a single dad. I'm a single mom. You know, I got a boyfriend. I got a girlfriend. I got a wife. I got a husband. I'm a pro athlete. I'm a professional singer. You know, I'm a preacher. I'm a pastor. I'm a nun. I'm whatever. I'm whatever. Right? I don't have any time, man. This is my question to you. How many hours a day do you get? 24. How many hours a day does LeBron James get? 24. How many hours a day does Barack Obama get? 24. How many hours a day does Taylor Swift get? 24. This is what I say. Hey guys, you know, you know who Jay-Z is, right? You know who Jay Jay-Z is a billionaire with Beyonce. This is what they said. They said in life, if something's important to you, you're gonna make time for it. If not, you're gonna make an excuse, right? So you're gonna find time. You're gonna find time. And number four, last but not least, guys, I you know, China, I understand it. Jewel, I believe it. Richard, I got 30 minutes a day. I got 45 minutes a day, right? But Alex, bro, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I don't have 250. And this is what I say to you. Guys, when I was 21 years old, you know, and I joined network marketing for the first time, I went to my first event. And uh, when, the, when the presentation was done, my sponsor looked at me. He said, Alex, are you ready to get started? And I said, yes. And then he said, Alex, great. It's $4.99. And I said, awesome. Like $4.99, $5. He said, he said, no. He said, like $500. Are you ready to get started? I said, no. He said, why? I said, I don't have the money. And this is, and this, and this is, this is what you use. This is what you use. Alex, are you above the age of 18 and live in the United States of America or use your city, your state or country? Uh, Alex, you above the age of 18 and live in London, England. Yes. Alex, you don't have $500 to your name. No. Wow. How does that make you feel? Ask people that question. Sarah, you don't have, you don't have $250. You don't have $250. No. You're over 18. You don't, how does that make you feel? Man, let's change that together, right? Let's change your financial situation together. So they don't understand it. They don't believe it. They don't have time. They don't have money. I see some of you in the chat box. You're saying they're asking you about how much money you've made so far. Here's my million dollar question here. This is my million dollar response. Alex, how much money have you made so far? Man, if I told you, you wouldn't even believe it. If I told you, you would not even believe, you wouldn't even believe how much money I made in this thing. That's all you got to say. Right? And then if they're still being a, you know what? Get them on the phone with your upline. Leverage other people. What did I say earlier? You can either have an ego or you can have a fat check. Right? Edify somebody else. Hey, I'd love to get you on the phone with, you know, one of my success coaches. I'd love to get you on the phone with, with one of my business partners. I would love to get you on a Zoom call with you know, one of my close friends who happens to be earning $2,000 a month, $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, right? So, so that's how I close. And the mentality is when you're prospecting, you want to already have it done in their head that they're getting started. Like you have to be so sold out on Marcus Live that if somebody doesn't get started, you like don't, it's like you can't even like accept it. Meaning if somebody, if somebody just doesn't get in, you're like, wow, like did you not see what I just saw? Do you not like see that we have the ability to make money on our phone? Like, do you not see that? Right? So guys, here's the deal. 
here's the deal. Um, so we just went over prospecting. We, we went over convention. We went over um, how to close. We went over how to build rapport, how to build trust, how to build that. Um, we, we talked about how strangers have everything that we want. So I guess from that point on, I guess, you know, one of the biggest tactics I could give you guys tonight, maybe some homework for tonight, is simply this. I want you to be in a state of massive appreciation. I want you to be in a state of massive gratitude, all right? I want you to understand, I want you to act as if you already have people joining your business. I want you to act as if you already have people, okay, um, that are that are already in your business. So this is the thing. You have to appreciate the people that are already coming into your business. For instance, like, you know, you know, 20, you know, 19 months ago, you know, I was already grateful for 100 Chairman 10s by December 31st, 2017. We didn't hit that goal. Okay, we had like 84. Now we have 95. We will walk into convention with 100 Chairman 10s and above. It's already done. So what you have to, what you have to train yourself to do is you have to be, um, you have to be grateful and appreciative of all the people that are already coming into your, that are already in your business. You have to act as if they're already in your business. So what does that mean? This is, this is what that means. You, you can write this down and you can say this to yourself over and over and over and over and over again. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have so many people joining my business on a continual basis. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have this, I have people continually joining my business on a continual basis on a continual basis, okay? That's what you have to be thinking about all the time. You have to be grateful all the time. You have to wake up in the morning, and you have to be happy. You have to wake up in the morning, and you gotta be excited. You have to wake up in the morning and say, and say yes, I am so happy and grateful now that I am a Platinum 2000 I market side. I am so happy and grateful now that I am a Chairman 10 in I market side. And when you wake up, I want you to feel, I want you to feel like, powerful right i want you to feel like you're already a champion i want you to feel as if you can go out there and prospect and talk to as many people as you want because they're getting started in your business they are getting started in your business so the last thing i want to talk about tonight is what's your goal what's your goal between now and march 16th what's your goal guys i'll tell you what everything in my life right now i saw this in my mind right Everything we see in our mind, we have the ability to hold in our hand. And don't let anyone ever tell you that your dream is too big. India's fired up. Tarun's on here. India's on here. Guys. So, guys, I'm fired up and excited. I want you to have a goal in your mind. And I want you to think about you, yourself, getting that goal. All right? We're going to be out here for three more minutes. So this is an activity. I want you to think about that goal right now. And I want you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. And I want you to see yourself on, on stage, guys, March 16th, right? On stage. If you're in Costa Rica, I'm coming to Costa Rica for an event March 3rd, right? I want you to see yourself living in that moment. What are you wearing? What do you feel like? How happy, how joyous, how amazing are you right now? I want you to feel the energy and the spirit. That's what you have to do. And you have to celebrate it. You have to celebrate it up here all the time. Because whatever your dominating thoughts are is what's going to manifest in the physical, right? This is all great. Prospecting, closing, edification, right? That's all amazing. But you have to see it in here and you will attract the people. You will attract the location. You will attract the opportunity daily. And you will get these people into your business. You, 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 will, you will be sponsoring. You will be enrolling, guys. You have, to, you have to visualize it first before it can happen. So, guys, I appreciate you. I love you um, so much, so much. And I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely um, just so, so, so grateful um, for all of your attention and your commitment. I, I cannot, words cannot express how, how strongly I believe in our mission here to educate, enrich, and empower 1 million customers by 2020. It's a done deal. It's already happened up here. It's already done. And I'll tell you what, if you have any doubt about Las Vegas convention, let there be no doubt. Let there be no doubt, guys. Get to Las Vegas convention. Buy your ticket tonight. Do whatever it takes. You're going to hear from all of the Chairman 250s, 
all the chairman 100, all of the, all the chairman 25, a, a vast majority of the chairman 10. We're going to hear from vice president of sales, Yvonne and Monica Tapia. You're going to hear from CEO and founder, Christopher Perry. You're going to hear from CFO, I can sell a toy. You're going to hear from myself. You're going to hear from all the amazing product testimonials. We're going to be crowning all the chairmen with beautiful, I can't tell you the color, jackets, custom fit jackets. We're giving away cars. We're giving away cars. We're giving away money. I mean, I can't, I, I don't know what else we can do to, for you to say, I need to be in Las Vegas. I need to be on that stage. I need to, um, I need to be there and your team needs to be there. Whatever it takes for you to be there, guys, you guys have got to be there. We need you there. And I'll tell you what, I am so pumped up and excited and fired up about what's going on. We are on the brink of something so, 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 so special. So, guys, that being said, you guys have a great evening. If you can do me one favor, get on IML Elite and post one thing. Actually, you know what? Forget that. Let's have some fun. I'm going to post the status on Facebook, and we're going to make this thing go viral. Okay? So, if you're not Facebook friends with me, Alex Morton. It's kind of bright. Sorry about that. Alex Morton, right? Alex Morton Mindset's my little background thing. Alex Morton. Um, everybody that likes this, I'm going to add you tonight as a friend. So everyone that likes this, I'm going to add you tonight as a friend. All right? And I'm going to post, this is a revolution. Revolution. And I'm going to post, game over. This is a revolution. Game over. Alex Morton, M-O-R-T-O-N. Alex Morton, M-O-R-T-O-N. Like it, comment, share it. I'm going to comment back to you. I'm posting it right now. And then I'm going to friend request you tonight. If someone wants to type in my thing or even post my little Facebook handle in there, I got to be friends, man. I, I, I just want to be friends with everybody. So let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. Alex Morton. And let's get it pop. There you go. Alina Jones, thank you very much. So, guys, I'm Marcus Live. This is the realest deal in the world. And I'm telling you, this is a revolution. We are changing lives all over the planet. And you guys got to feel good in your heart because all we're doing is we're helping change the lives of people all over the planet. So, with that being said, you guys have a great night. I'm going to let the song play out. I love you. And um, let's rock and roll. Let's work hard. Let's change lives. See you in Las Vegas, Nevada, 26 days away. It's going to be a movie. It's going to be a phenomenal experience, and your life will change. Let's go out there and change the world. Love you guys. Bye for now.